guys. So this is the Scream Queens review. And tonight's this is episode, episode two. two. And tonight's episode was with was this show crazy. is so it's, silly. It's so bizarre. It is so it silly. It really is. So So wait. it did it start off with um what's his name? Um them in the freezer because that's the part I caught it on when it was in the when Chanel number five was in the freezer she said she was going in there because she was bored so she went in there to look yeah. at the Chanel body two's body yeah that wasn't the first part but she Chanel number five was like I realized I slept with two guys that was brothers and I realized that I don't need you and I'm up out here so this is your problem and you can deal with these places on your own so then Chanel was like you can't leave me and she's like I'm leaving but the first part Zayday and Grace was getting food at the convenience store, and Zayda was like, "Well, Pete, oh yeah, 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 yeah." Zayda was like, "Pete is crazy. Why would he have all that stuff?" But Grace was like, "Well, I don't really believe it, kind of now." Can't and so, <coughs> <coughs> okay. yeah. So anyway, some kid was wearing a red double outfit, and he got tased. And he pretty crushed. came at them for some strange reason. I guess he was trying to play a joke on them or something. So he like came. It's, it's dark on my side. Yeah. So he came by charging after mm -hmm. them, and they ended up tasing them and stuff, and then. I don't even know what the heck. I guess he was trying to play a prank. So, yeah. So then uh, Zayda and Grace, they went to go check on Chanel number two. And they was like, what's down on the floor? It's a big old stain. And then Grace was like, well, it could be, be anything. Bulimia <laughs> or scissor. And then Zayda was like, it could be blood. And on the, on the commercial, I want to say, Denise was supposed to say that's show enough blood. But she didn't say that on the on the T on the, on the so, set. so yeah, Denise came in and she was she like, used, oh, uh, that's blood. Anytime somebody say that could be blood, in my experience, that's blood. So yes. she used luminol, luminol yes. to spray on it. She was like, So what y'all got you got luminol, but you don't got no gun. And she was like, Yeah, and she put the luminol on her sandwich because she don't horse like rash. horseradish. She put it on her sandwich just to make sure that there's no horseradish on her sandwich. But she's eating the freaking luminol. No and, then she, and then she was like, you saw those tweets? Then she went off on them. She's like, y'all saw those tweets and y'all gonna go to her house? And she's like, that's stupid. And she like went off on them. Like, I know because they house. are acting dumb. Because somebody is tweet. They was like, nobody saw her tweet saying, oh my God, the Red Devil was killing me. And somebody is still currently tweeting or posting Instagram. pictures. Uh -huh. Instagram. Posting pictures of her dead body. I hope I was like, oh, like that. On the picture, you like, that picture ain't even cute. A day stupid. So then they was playing Crossroads by Bone Thugs and Harmony while they walked with the candles. And and then so they think What's that uh, I don't know. They think that Chad killed himself somehow. I don't know how he would do that. They think he killed himself. But Chad was like, I'm super sad that I lost my best friend, mm -hmm. and you know I wish he was here and stuff. So then Chanel came. And was like, oh, I, I kept complimenting you and stuff. So then he was like, no, you can't. You're not like um, Boone. Mm -hmm. And then so so she was like, I, I, we can be together, but I just wish you would sleep with less people. So he's yeah. like, I know you're not a psych major, but you need that's over controlling. Why would I sleep with smaller people? Why do you even care who I sleep with? He's like, I don't love them. So he's like, oh, you I love that's me? That's crazy. He was calling her crazy for saying that. Yeah. He asked him to sleep with less people if they was getting back together. So anyway, he got like, dissed her. She she's still trying to impress him. So then the dean started talking and Oh yeah, yeah. The new mascot is a soft serve ice cream. Cone. Cone. It's called Coney. She stole that from high school. Yeah. She stole it. So, but it was funny when she was talking. She was like, uh, Tiffany's passing. Then, uh, neck brace is like, what you mean? She got mowed off. Her head got mowed off. We you talking about her passing. Oh, and then Chanel number three was, um, getting friendly with Sam because Sam was helping oh, her. Yeah. And she eventually sold Sam the her story that her dad is Charles, Charles Manson, Manson that she just found well she didn't know last that was year. her dad but last then she, she went and did a DNA test and found out her dad was Charles Manson and nobody can't find out because then they're gonna automatically think that she's, she's the, the killer. killer so she need her to be her alibi she's gonna be Sam's alibi too they be alibi she wanna be best best friends alibis yeah. what they call alibis alibis so she is just like you can't tell nobody and cause she cause she's like cause she's a billionaire she's a billionaire's daughter so she's like, you can't tell nobody, because nobody knows nobody. Chanel's don't have their own name, I guess. Well, I guess. Well, Chanel number two, I think her name was Son was Sonia. Uh, Chanel number two, they don't have, they just call my Chanel number two. It's such a shadow over here. Man. Okay, so, so, um, then, uh, they went to Chanel number two's house and mm -hmm. talked to the parents, and Chad, Ashley, yeah, and, uh, Denise. Denise, Chad 
with that was as she mm-hmm. sent Chanel number two a letter, a creepy letter saying some stuff, and they was like, if you find her, do not bring her back home. <laughs> you know, why not even come back home? It's so they crazy. said she had a, nobody, she, got, she, like, need, she was supposed to be in rehab. It's like nobody even cared that all the kids are dying. I know. It's so bizarre. So what was the next thing before I talk about Oh yeah. <laughs> Grace's dad. Grace found that her dad was oh, a yeah. professor and he showed Shane so, Massacre. He said that was the best movie ever made. So he went in there and showed that movie. And then after the movie, he went out and he was talking to an old Gigi. girl. Gigi. Yeah. About how everybody got pain and mm-hmm. stuff and it's how they deal with it. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really creepy. Yeah, and then uh, then the dean was like, "I'm gonna need to talk to you at my tennis court later on." So they went and played tennis, and she's like, "We're gonna move into the the Kappa Kappa house," and she's like, "I'm gonna be roommates." So then she's like, "Oh yeah, you harbor at tennis and stay away from my man because I, I call dibs." <laughs> and then she was like, "Well, you can't call dibs on a person." So Tony mascot, he oh my god, he was killed. having the best time of his life being that mascot because he never been so popular before. Oh my god, he was doing so crazy stuff. He was stealing money. I know. He was smacking girls on a bus, groping people, and doing he was everything. He was doing everything. But then, then it came to an end when the Red Devil killed him. At they least almost they tried to fight back. They tried to fight back. They yeah. tried to fight back every time they almost get killed. Yeah, so then uh, Neck Brace got a whole makeover, and now oh she's Chanel god. number six. Chanel number five freaked she out. Was she outraged. was so upset. She was like, You don't deserve to be captain because you don't follow the rules. A freaking pledge can't be, you know, Chanel. But mm-hmm. Chanel only made her over so she could look look like it was she was nice to impress Chad. Chad. Yeah. But Chanel slipped up and was like, we already got two dead Chanel's. None of anybody heard that, but yeah. that's what she said. So then the they had a Dickie Dollar Scholar meeting. I'm gonna speak this up because we got like a yeah. minute. They they did a meeting and then he was like, well, we gonna go on a rant uh, cause he was like, I don't think uh Boone killed himself. Then mm-hmm. he was like, Boone couldn't have killed himself, woke right up, went to go pee and then died back again because yeah, he saw footprints. He saw footprints. So then he went and he was like, We gonna go and get a go do a call out and go in with bats and stuff and call out the red devil and he was like, That's what they do in the ghetto. Then the um Earl, which is I, the guy after his name is Lucien Laviscal. I saw I was like, You saw him? No, Earl. I mean, anyway, her, I was anyway, it's this lighting guy. Waffles. The lighting guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's him. That so, was walking with him at the ceremony. Yeah, okay. so they went out there, smashed everything red, and then it was two red devils, basically. And he's got like, their arms chopped off, and we don't even know if Chad's dead. We don't so, know if Chad's dead. He's like, see, I told you, this happened again. Oh, my God. Denise thinks Zayde is the killer. Oh, my Zayde God. Because got some creepy Shane stuff. Saw. She do have she evidence. She do have evidence, yeah. And then with that, how to get away with murder, that was funny. I wonder if that's oh, a real yeah. tweet that Kiki on to it. But Zayn freaking had a chainsaw under her bed, and then she was practicing, practicing and taking it out. Yeah. And the chainsaw is the exact same chainsaw that the killer, that mm-hmm. the devil yeah. had when yeah. he came down and was trying to cut up um, the boys. Yeah. So then Grace went to Pete and was like, well, we got to find out who this baby is and stuff. And she thinks Chad's the killer. And he was like, I don't know. I don't know if that's it. But they found a woman. One of the names, all the names that he got didn't check up, but one of them did, and they they contacted the woman, so they're not even tracking her down. And then oh, that wait, okay, so Gigi and Ken, the dean, this was the oh end. My God. Those noises, she, that she did, she on, did purpose. It on purpose to get her out of so that she room. Had a, so she got a two beds, but then the killer came in trying to kill Gigi downstairs. Then Wes got stabbed, mm-hmm. and then she was like, "Oh, what is going on?" Then, yeah. then Wes was like, "You the killer." And that's she how she magically appeared when that killer was gone. But on those rooms, how come she couldn't sleep in the room? I know. Why did she have to go downstairs? I don't she know. walked past all those rooms. It's not that many kids in the house. What is that noise? Anyway, so yeah, that was this. This week. freaking this crazy. Episode, this episode. Well, I'm like, like, this is kind of dumb. This show. It, it is. It's feel like it's like, like it's silly. But I want to know who the killer. I know. Are. And when she finds out, she the, she the baby for real. Mm-hmm. So that's what he might be trying to get revenge on them kids, West. But they But Denise this. is trying. Oh, Denise, Denise, Denise is trying to figure this out. She's probably the only person who's trying to actually figure out what's going on. Yeah, because she was like Best Buy that CD. Yeah, that was funny. All her oh, evidence is funny. So that was it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Since everybody knows, since people in the description below, just click on the link in the description below, and we'll see you guys next time to see if she's gonna figure out that she's a kid. The kid. God dang it, Grace. I wonder if Zayn is. The it's same day with Scream. Scream oh Tuesdays. Scream Tuesdays. Scream Tuesdays.